Hey Alan, this video is for you. So I have here the uh, Razer Conti, and uh, this is the front screen here. As you can see, we've got the yellow and the red. Things are pretty good, even the black is good. And once it parks, the lights go off. I'm not really sure why. If it still has an error, it does, it does that, but we have possibly an error here, which is the uh, the red and the orange blinking here. Uh, and we're going to be using the USB here to connect to the computer. The one thing I will tell you is that right here, I think this is connection uh, 6 here, um, a couple of the pins on this side and the other side are a little bit worn, but they seem to stick in there okay and connect okay, but I could be wrong and that's why I'm getting the error. Um, possibly. I'm sorry, um, did I say 9? I think this is 6. This is 6 right here. And then um, I think that for the carriage, the number 9 is going to be wearing out quite a bit uh, inside of here where it feeds through. I wonder, the question is, is that if the uh, number 9 connection here from the sensor, the carriage sensor, if it has a problem, could it create the fatal error and cause it not to print or cause it even not to connect? I think maybe it's possible, but I would think that you would still get the USB connection with some error. Uh, so what we do is we go over here to, um, well, first we're going to figure out where it is. We see it right here, USB support. And then we can see that, oh, my phone's not very good at focusing. We can see that um, we've got a connection, but we should be able to go to printers here and confirm the connection. Um, so we look at ports and we see that this guy is on port one. And then what we could do is we could go to the adjustment program, go to select, and normally you see this is what you see, USB one, Epson. So we, normally this is what shows up and it connects. Uh, so now we should be able to at least go get some information here and see what the status is. Um, but we've got fatal error this way. Let's just do a check. Um, oh, this is a little bit new. I can actually get through. So 0A. But this is back, I think, in 2014. But I don't know. I think it just changed. Let's find out real quick. 0A, CR load position, excess load, encoder dirty. Okay, well, probably the thing is dirty, so... But would that, would that stop the USB connection? Would that make a fatal error in any communication? It doesn't seem to make sense um, that, it's, that it won't communicate at all. And so that's my main problem here is that I cannot get it to connect. And we can see it's connected here. It doesn't show any uh, yellow triangle or anything. Uh, we can see that we can check for status here. And, but we cannot get the status here, which there may be different routes of getting a status. And then, you know, we can also see that it's under the printers here. And it doesn't say offline, so it must be ready to go, it must be ready. Also, I noticed that uh, in the control panel, if I want to uh, do a head cleaning, can't do it. I can't do that. Well, probably because there's some kind of a, an error. It's like a fatal error or some kind of other error here because it's a constant blinking. And um, so I can't do much really of much really of anything. Uh, but I can do a restart, and I've done that many times, and it doesn't matter. It'll it'll still it'll still have problems. But I just wanted to show you so you could see what's going on. Maybe gives you a better idea of what I might be doing wrong. Let me know if you need any more information or you need to see something else.